Hi, I'm Peter Edwards from Blue Tutors. Um, we teach children of all ages, um, right from primary school to degree level, and we find the highest quality tutors. Um, and today, I'm going to teach you some maths. We're now going to look at how to uh, take one decimal number away from another, subtract decimals. Um, what's, it's important to realise that this is no more complicated than taking away a number which hasn't got a dec any decimal places in it from another number which has no decimal places in it. Um, it's all about just making sure you get the point in the right place. So we're going to start with a fairly straightforward example. Um, we're going to look at 0 0.456 minus 0 0.123. As you would with any other number, um, you put the number, the first number at the top, the second number at the bottom, and we're going to do a subtraction. Um, it's important to note that the points are above each other. That's the most crucial thing when you're doing a sum like this. So six minus three is three, five minus two is three, and four minus one is three. We put the point at the bottom, and a obviously zero minus zero is zero, um, and so you can see the result of that sum. We'll move on to a slightly more complicated example, um, and you'll see why that's so in a minute. Um, zero point three nine one, and we're taking away zero point two six eight. So what I'm going to ask you to do here, for good practice, is to just put the point at the bottom so you know it's always going to be there. Okay, so we now have one minus eight, which obviously would give us minus seven, but that's not something which we're going to do. As you would in any other subtraction sum, you're going to take a number from here, change that to eight, and put the one there to make that 11. So 11 minus eight is three, eight minus six is two, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So 0 0.391 minus 0 0.268 gives you 0 0.123. OK, so now we're going to look at another example which, again, will have a little extra step in. So again, make sure we put the point underneath the point in the top number. And now we have 4, 2, 1. You'll see that there's a space up here, and so what you should do there is just put a zero in, um, just to complete, complete the sum. So, we're going to take those away from each other. Similarly to what we did in the second example, we're going to cross out the four and make that a three, and make that ten. So we can have ten minus one gives us nine, three minus two gives us one, five minus four gives us one. We put the point in, and then two minus one gives us one. So 2.54 minus 1.421 leaves us with 1.119. And that is how to subtract two numbers when they are decimal numbers. <laughs>